There are tales littered all across the wasteland. Some speak of a talking tree on top of a hill, spreading fruits and plants all across the wastes. Some mention a giant nuke-throwing robot with a devastating laser beam. And others speak of people with supernatural abilities. Are these just radiation poison brains conjuring up these myths, or is there some truth to them? Only you can decide as we step into the haze of Wastelord's legends. I In the year 2077, the land of Appalachia was home to many technological advancements in mining and automation. Some of these included an entire town of automated robots, another was self-building nuclear warheads. But today we're going to talk about an experimental power armor used for mining, the EXC-17 excavator suit, or more commonly referred to by the pioneers of Appalachia, the excavator power armor. Developed by Garahan Mining Company and designed by Harold Frost, the same man who designed the T-45 power armor. The excavator power armor was created to protect the Appalachian miners from hazardous air contaminants and rockfalls, while also allowing them to mine much faster and more efficiently. However, none of this was achieved easily, and there were many problems with the suit, such as the machine's arms breaking and then overheating. But this was all fixed when the researchers used an ultrasite nuclear reactor and black titanium to solve malfunctions. When the armor was finally ready to be produced, the lead researcher, Vivian Garahan, decided to put it to a test versus the Hornwright Autominer robot. The robot won the 24-hour challenge of most ore mined, but only because the vice president of Hornwright tampered with the results in his favor, thus sealing the fate of the suit and turning the mines of Appalachia into even more automation, causing countless loss of jobs and even more protests. The excavator power armor had many design features of the T-45D power armor, such as repurposing the reactor and redesigning it with ultrasight. The armor also had its pieces cast in the black titanium to increase its structural integrity and its overall durability. The helmet also contained an ore sensor to easily locate precious ore in the dark dreary mines, while containing all other T-series features, radiation protection, a headlamp, air filter, and a hydraulic frame, it lacked a rangefinder and was not designed for stopping bullets or energy attacks. However, it still protects its user considerably better than most wasteland armors. The armor's ability to collect massive amounts of ore and carry a much heavier load than other power armors makes this suit sought after by most Vault 76 dwellers. Unfortunately, only five suits were ever created, so the pioneers had to rely on schematics to build their own suits. If you are lucky enough to come across one of these mining miracles, be sure to respect its user and maybe even ask them to look over your weapon for repairs, because this suit was designed and created by geniuses. Thank you scavengers for listening to this holotape. Be sure to leave a like if you found it entertaining or informative, and consider subscribing if you are interested in this type of content. But most of all, thank you for watching, and be sure to watch your back for Death Claws.